Assalamu alaikum everyone, hope you are having an amazing day. It's Rosa Muhammad and welcome to my channel. So today, it's 9 o'clock in the morning, 9.30 actually. I just got up and I'm going to the town. I have a couple of things to do in the town. I haven't had my breakfast yet. So, there is a very amazing, nice hidden spot in Granger Market in Newcastle. The reason why I'm saying it's uh, hidden and uh, I don't think that many people know about that place. Uh, why? Because uh, after I came to Newcastle, I came to know that place after like two, three months of being in here. So before I didn't know that place. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the town, I'm gonna, you know, finish my stuff, finish my own stuff. Then I'm gonna show you guys, uh, we're gonna go there together and we're gonna eat. And Granger, Granger Market itself, I think it's a good place, a good place to come and have a look at least once. Um, it's it's quite quite a good market, basically. I'm, I'm gonna just quickly catch a bus and then we're gonna head. Recruiting, so here you can get a day rider for about 4.30 on a stagecoach. So once you get it, that means you can, throughout the day, you can use uh, stagecoach services basically for this for this price anytime you want cool in it So where am I at? I'm basically, I can say, in the middle, in the center of Newcastle. Why? Because that is Grace Monument, basically. So yeah, so we will go this way. So you have these kind of fruit stalls around Newcastle, somewhere, sometimes here, sometimes on Northumberland Street. But I think the price is going to be the same as, as if you bought from a supermarket. But I'm not sure. So we are at the place already. This is the Granger Market. So right when that's Greece uh, monument, a couple of yards, and then here we're gonna enter from the first door, and we're gonna we're gonna look for that specific store. It's a Italian pizza, really really nice, like like really like really nice. Let's go now. Here you have the number of stalls and what is what, what is what. You, you, you can have a look if you want. I hope that they are open. Stalls are just opening now. You have some really unique clothings and 
really unique in general items that are quite rare to find for example if you go to H&M right you can't find the clothes that we've just seen Greek restaurant here Wait. Tea bar, bubble tea. Should, should we buy a bubble tea? I think they make here dumplings and all that, and it's North South coffee or something. What alley is it? Oh. I'm at alley number two, and guess what? It's not in this alley. So let's go to the other one then. By the way, I think this is one of the most uh, useful shops in here. Because here, I came the other day and got... Uh, what's it called? Thread. Yeah. I needed a black thread, so I came here and bought... Ali. Ali. Is it called Ali or Ali? Number three. And here you have family butchers, Oliver and Eden family butchers. Obviously, I'm not going to be buying from them. <laughs> there are a lot of new halal food stores all over the Newcastle if you want to buy halal meat. Wait. We are on Alley 4, I think. And I was thinking it's going to be at, at that kind of spot, but it's not in there. I think I lost the orientation of which, which side is south, south, which side is north. Should we buy some fruit? Nah, we won't. Oh, I think I found it. It takes about 15 minutes of me walking around until I find the spot. Yo, and then I believe they, they've just made the pizza out. So. Let me just show you guys. So it is on Ali Alley number four. Fresh pizza by the slice, handmade the Italian way. This is the place where you want to go and come and buy. I go for mar margarita every single time I come here and look at the slices. They are humongous. No, nah, not the ham and mushroom, it's not an option. Nah, okay, so the only option that we can buy from here for now is the margarita. Oh, sorry. So before, there used to be stools in here, stools and tables, where you could buy the pizza and then eat it straight away here, but since it's locked down and COVID and all that stuff, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a slice, I think two slices, because I haven't because I haven't had my breakfast yet. Then I'll go out and sit somewhere in the garden and then eat. Hey, you're right. Two margarita, please. Take away. Yeah, please. They've got food hygiene rating five. That means you know that this place is quite nice. And then just so you know, it's cash only. So two pound, two pound, four quid. Oh, seems like it's freshly made. He's just wrapping it up and he's just gonna pack it up for me. So these guys, they have been in Newcastle for about 12 years and they have been doing pizza, all, I think, throughout, throughout their time in Newcastle. So you know that they know their job. You know how they do and uh, no. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's nice and hot. Let's just quickly find a spot. You know what? I feel like I'm I'm very good at rhyming. I feel like I'm very good at rapping. So what I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm gonna just quickly get this spot and eat it while it's like really, really hot. Let's get this spot. I wanted to sit right down there, but what if somebody walks in? Eh, what am I gonna do then? Eh, there are benches all over, all around but I'm gonna sit somewhere in the corner there. Yeah, because why not? Um, actually, you know what, let's go to the garden. There's a garden. Pizza is still hot. Normally they do margarita and then uh, vegetable, 
veg, veg pizza today there was a margarita option the only halal option we're just gonna sit somewhere right here yeah because why not those people are sitting as well so I'm sure it's gonna be fun anyways let's have a look at the pizza Two pounds, for such a humongous slice. Oh, nice and thin. Look at that. Tomatoes and all that. You know what, I think the, the best pizza I've ever had is this. Maybe it's just because I don't really eat that much of a pizza, but whenever I come to the town, like I said, I come and eat this. It's really hot, actually. It's really hot. So I'm gonna I'm teach you guys how to eat pizza properly here. Yeah? You take a pizza, you kind of fold it like that, and then you just take the biggest bite ever. So as always, Bismillah. If you're in the town around this area, Grange Market, come and definitely get a pizza. Because why not? I bought two slices, right? But now I feel like one slice should have should have been done. Alright, one slice would be enough. I don't know what's so different. Maybe it's the crispiness and it's not that crispy maybe it's just because it's thin and it's not it's not hard it's soft but it's crispy at the same time it's really hard to explain but as you can see the sides they're slightly crispy on the outside and um, actually it's really soft so the sauces maybe they use their own tomato sauce I don't know it's different it's different than any other uh, pizza that you get and plus it's I think it's considered as a street food. So yeah. Munch 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 By the way, I really like this kind of weather. Why? Because it's not too hot. It's not too hot and it's not too cold. So it's quite nice. I like the weather here to be honest. But the pizza oh if you ask me if I can eat this pizza, a slice of a pizza, about of a certain this pizza every single time whenever I want a pizza then yeah definitely yeah 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 hundred percent yeah I have my another slice okay so before I go into my second slice let me tell you the story of how I came to know about this place because it's uh, because it's like in the Granger market right in Newcastle so basically I used to go to Newcastle University uh, I studied at Northumbria University myself but I used to go to uh, Newcastle University every Friday uh, before the lockdown when we then we could see like and meet other people like when, when we could socialize before the lockdown so there uh, when, when I used to go to Newcastle University uh, I have met like uh, a lot of new uh, brothers from different different countries and then there was Wahid I think uh, the brother was from Sudan, Sudan I don't exactly remember I have met a brother Wahid who seems like work, works at Granger Market he has got his own accessories shop so he sells like uh, headphones like chargers like plugs like no um, laptops like phones and that so different different things right I came to know that he works in Granger Market so what happened is like I needed uh, headphones then I've decided to go to his shop because uh, why to spend money somewhere when I can spend money another way meaning like <laughs> I mean like I just wanted to buy something of him so that at least that will be sort of good I went to his place I'm like 
How you doing, brother? You okay? Everything's all right. Yeah. I came off to headphones, and then I, I got the headphones, and he gave me a huge discount. So just like Allah Khair, may Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala protect him and uh, make things easy for him. So he gave me a huge discount. I got headphones, and then what happened is, you know, are you hungry? He goes, and I'm like, well, I'm all right. And then he goes, okay, you know what? Um, let's go. I'm gonna show you a couple of places. Oh, I forgot to show you guys the coffee place. There was a, such a nice coffee place. But I can't even bother it. I'm already outside. So. We went and had a coffee. The interesting thing about Granger Market is that there, if you work there, you can get things for one pound. So what happened is like I'm following um, Wahid, right, the brother who works in uh, Granger Market. We went to the coffee shop. We got two coffees uh, for a quid each. Yeah. Um, so actually, co coffee was like uh, one pound something or two pound, two pound forty forty five pence or something. But we got it for one pound. This is this is how it works. It seems like in Granger Market. So if you work in Granger Market, if you guys know each other that you guys work there, that means like this is how it is. Well, it's cool, isn't it? So we got coffee for one pound each. Then we went to this pizza shop. He goes, oh, there's this pizza shop here. Yeah, you're gonna go and you're gonna like it. And then we went there and then we bought the margarita. Obviously margarita. He goes, oh, the the only option for us is either margarita or vegetable one. I've tried it. That was so good. It was more or less my first time trying pizza when I first came to Newcastle. No, not not just when I first came to Newcastle, but in general, because back home pizza were not that popular. We're not that common. Um, Really, back home, when I like two years ago, the street food was not that meaning like fast food, junk food, it was not that common. Um, so, recently, it started to improve. Really, so now you have lots of pizza places back home as well. So, that was my first time trying pizza, and that was so good. Since then, whenever I have business in, in the town and whenever I feel hungry, I come here every single time. Why? Because, why not? Because it's such a good place. The pizza is not too oily, it's not too doughy, it's not too soft, it's not too hard. Away, what a golden balance, what a golden balance this is. Away, mate, away. So nice. So, whenever you are in the town, come to Granger Market at Alley 4. Alley, Alley, Alley 4, and it should be somewhere around there. There's a nice coffee shop as well. Come and have, have that coffee as well. It's so creamy, but not too much. You get to taste every single thing here. Like, I remember having a pizza from a um, Daisy Takeaway, basically, Dixie Chicken, or some other places. I feel like they don't know how to cook, how to cook pizza because pizza is not their speciality, right? It's like you go into an English restaurant, ordering a Pakistani style curry and complaining about curry. You know, Italians. <laughs> they are Italians, right? So, oh, so good. So, when I tried pizza from other places, yeah, in other couple of places, not all of them, but in other couple of places. It's like they overdo with cheese, or they overdo with tomato sauce, or they use cheap tomato sauce. It just doesn't taste right. You, do, you just don't enjoy the pizza. You eat that pizza just to fill yourself up. But this one, you eat it so that you feel the taste. You know what I mean? Those two pigeons were around here. They came too close, but I couldn't feed them my pizza. I know they were after my pizza. I know. I think that guy there, that last guy is doing moves on the lasses. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. Come on. Come on, I trust you. But do it the halal way, yeah? Do it the halal way. <laughs> yeah. First you need to go through the car. Then you can... Yeah. Good luck anyways.
let me find my bus stop or oh, it's the bus is already there but I don't feel like running but I'm a run anyways I don't want to wait for the other bus other bus that was it for me today my intention was just to show you that pizza place and I think I should yeah that's it yeah come and have a look for yourself it's it's quite a nice place yeah oh well anyways yeah let me just get into the bus so yeah um, that was it for me thank you very much for watching I hate this face mask um, make sure to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and uh, hopefully Alhamdulillah, uh, I was able to make this vlog as well. Hopefully, uh, this month there are gonna be more videos coming out. So stay stay tuned for that. That's why uh, hit that notification bell so that you are not gonna miss any new videos. And that's it. Thank you very much for watching. See you guys on the next one. Ciao. Take care. Assalamualaikum.